Sierra Leone closed its borders to all incoming visitors. At first, this seemed like some kind of poetic justice. Last time, there was a highly infectious sickness. It was Ebola. And it was the rest of the world shutting out Sierra Leone. And on the 25th third, a state of emergency was declared. By this proclamation, declare that a state of public emergency exists in the whole of the Republic of Sierra Leone with effect from today, the 24th day of March 2020, for a period of 12 months. Those returning home were put in chaotic quarantine. Kibula Kamara was one of them. My experience was very traumatic coming back from UK to Freetown going back on a, another long journey to put local on the quarantine. We all abide to the rules and regulation going to the quarantine because of the safety of our family and the nation. Fellow citizens, we are reminded every day that the coronavirus disease is highly infectious and rare. We continue to urge citizens to practice all hygiene protocols as prescribed by our healthcare professionals. What I would say, take necessary precaution. You don't want to see whether it is true or not. You don't want to be infected. And you wait to see whether in this thing it's real or not. When they say we have an outbreak of this, just expect the precautionary measures. The first case of coronavirus was declared on the 31st March by the President. On the 5th April and the 1st three-day lockdown was announced, but nothing was put in place to feed people, people who live day by day and are too poor to save anything. A few NGOs tried to feed those in need, but most went without food. See for itself, being a mourner, because my me, me man just died. Take these three days and so self, nothing to nothing and not get a house. And I know Abopo, he 20,000, and one man self in this area, I will be giving me 20,000. I go buy gabi, I buy sugar, I buy parma with magi. For all the lockdown, no serious. Pass who are pass and bigger, bigger to me family, I get out of it. You survive me, me begin them. This community, inhabitants of, let me say, up to 16,000 people in this community, but not all of us fortunate to get the supply. The government has supplied me nothing. Nothing, oh, my brother. This lockdown is an unexpected something. Because we just come back three days, but you know, two days we come back back. Emergency. So now, waiting at the thing now, with the money, we say, oh, we don't go to the house. 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 What would they come with? What we say that money now in the day now we hand. How would they eat? They're not giving nothing. These three days lockdown, I do survive. They survive. I buy gary. I put on a horse. Nobody know they can supply we. Government know they supply we. Well, me they sell beef. So the beef for me they sell. At two day, me they survive. So make I will prepare for me and my family. The new cake and the same. These three days lockdown, the two more now. Because why make? So, like, we did get a woman where a business woman with a single parent. It'd be really, really more now. We'll go with bang bang. Soon after, these street borders were closed. And once we had the index case on the 31st of March 2020, we decided to strengthen all of these structures and cascade them to the regions because we knew it would definitely go down to the regions. Especially this lockdown around the district or district, people they can't even come by. So now they all of the way they me right now. So business they go through. People they move movements of people they don't stop. So how we do for sale right now? So it affects you greatly. And a 9 p.m. curfew was announced. 70% of population live in poverty on less than $1.25 a day. And the markets were closed. Hustlers couldn't hustle. Sex workers couldn't work. Petty traders lost half their income. The corona pandemic in the country is, is 
affecting us so bad, you understand? And the hours of doing business has been minimized to short hours. Who they poor one day will they suffer? Who who gets then go lock me down? How they survive? How they survive? If not guy will plant it, go they go buy. How go get that three days lock then they can lock me? We not get who say they pull that guy. I am the minister of health and sanitation. At the start of this year, WHO announced that we do have a pandemic. The coronavirus that started in China has spread to several other regions in this world. You know, Sierra Leone was exposed to Ebola just three, four years back. And therefore, we took this very seriously. It was difficult for most people to go to the hospital because they were scared that the doctor might tell them they have COVID-19. Most of them prefer to stay home and take care of themselves. Even with them, because it's safe right now, I'm not going to cram myself in hospital for going to my clothes because I'm afraid. Because when they say this sick here, they don't make Some people then, that's so they, 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 they talk. It's because of where they go, so they, they think about other different things. Just like I don't talk about the Ebola issue. We post the sick as they call on seven, so we go, you know, the guy again. So now make that some people they now have a doctor there, a boss. If I'm sick, Lano, like in Oki, easy lab hospital. Because waiting you, I used to continue medicine. If I see Senna Malaria gets, I can fail me two, three continue medicine. Abuela, me on Bella, I know me when you meet what it is. I don't say if I take a one day or three days for day, or inside three days I take the water inside the well. I drink them. I wash it, I sweat it, I don't cook it. But if you report early enough, and some measures are taken to ensure that your symptoms, whatever it is that you're feeling, are cared for when once you've tested positive, then you can be held. But if you wait until you get to the point where you are now almost helpless, by the time the swab is taken, and a positive result comes, sometimes, for most of them, the result usually comes now even after they are dead already. People to know, we've only had less than a thousand people affected by this disease. Of that, we have treated 54% of those. Yes, we should go through all the, the tenets of hand washing, of, of social distancing, or using the face mask, but we should not be afraid of accessing a health facility. So that is where you have your best chance of getting yourself well. There is a belief among the youth in Sierra Leone that if you drink bitter cola, marijuana and other drugs, you will be free from COVID and you will be always be protected from the effect of COVID symptoms. Yeah, the bitter cola so they get corona being because you need to of Ebola, you fetch Ebola with bitter cola. Like came here, the chat bitter cola, wow. Parts of this COVID-19. We were at the, the, the talk about the coronavirus. They say now we cycle the and the bits are cooler so and our business with the warming body system. We all the time the system they wake up strong because with the second and with the sweats and with the pool is more sickness. So meeting said this bits are cooler more protects me from, from the coronavirus. I think we are clear on one thing that there is no cure for corona. There is no anti-corona medication. There is a lot going on around the world that people think, okay, if I take this, I'll be cured. If I take this, I won't get it. If I take this. But what we know officially is that there is no cure. They've not been proven. And as at now, I don't think we have any treatment for COVID. Um, trials are going on here and there, but then that should be with the scientists, the experts. We we'll hope in the next month or two, this will be a, a disease Sierra Leone can manage. A disease we can live with. If you have diabetes, we do not close schools. We can go ahead. 
So we cannot continue to close schools. We have to get to a point that we think that Sahelian can manage the disease to a level that we start to open all these facilities again.